This is a video tutorial on how to properly write bibliographic citations for images or photographs. Let's start at Google Images. I'm going to type monkey so that I can find a picture of a monkey. I end up with lots of pictures of monkeys, as you know, in Google Images. And what a lot of people do is just copy the image straight from this page. However, if you do that, you don't end up with the original source and the proper citation. The correct thing to do is click on the image you want. I like this spider monkey. You end up with a larger picture, which is better for pasting into your work. And you end up with this link over on the right side of the page, website for this image, which will take you to the image's original source. When I click on that, I end up at National Geographic which is where this photograph of the spider monkey lives on the web. In order to cite this source, let's open up EasyBib. Within EasyBib, you have lots of different options, but none of the options on these tabs on the top are photograph. I'm going to click all 59 options and then browse to photograph so that I can create a proper citation. We end up at this Cite a Photo page. Here's basic information you will need to find listed at the top. More specifically, we need to click the Website tab to ensure we include the information um, about the electronic photo. So now let's return to our spider monkey and pull the information we need. First, we're going to look for photo title. You can usually find the photo title underneath the picture or on top of the picture. I'm going to grab this caption as the photo title and I'm going to paste it into that box. The next field is collection or museum. We know this photograph is part of the National Geographic website, so it does not live in a collection or museum, nor is it located anywhere, or we don't really know the answer to that question. It's located on the web, so we're not going to fill out the city. We're going to return to the spider monkey and see if we can find a date and a photographer. When we look at this image, it doesn't look like there's a specific date associated with it. Sometimes you might see a date right after the caption or listed on the photograph itself. We're going to leave that date field blank. But we do see a photographer. I'm going to copy Joel Sartore's name and return to EasyBib. Type it in first and last. And then let's move down to the website publication information. We need to grab the title, the publisher, the URL or web address. We need to find the date of the site that's different than the date of the photograph and the date we accessed it. So let's go back. The website title is National Geographic. So I'm going to type that in. The publisher or sponsor is often at the bottom of the page. There's a publisher of National Geographic. It might be something a little bit more official. And there it is, National Geographic Society. So I'm going to copy that and paste that into the publisher spot. Next, we need to grab the URL. Copy the URL at the top of that page. And you want to make sure, for the purposes of this particular assignment, you click Yes for Display URL. Your teacher wants to see that web address. Now let's go see if we can figure out when that page was published. Back to Spider Monkeys, and here we are, still at the bottom of the page. The most current year we have listed is 2013. So we go back to EasyBib and type in 2013. The last field is the date accessed, and we looked at that today. So we can just click that Today button, or you can enter a date if it's an image you looked at on an earlier day. So there we have it. We've put in all of our information, and our click 
Create Citation. Here's our citation ready to copy and paste into your document or presentation. You'll notice we didn't write a date for the photograph, so it appears as ND. If you wonder about that kind of indication, EasyBib will tell you what it means. ND stands for no date and shows up when no publication date has been provided. Now go ahead and try to cite your own photograph. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask a librarian.